Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can block calendar in Microsoft Teams. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Microsoft Teams and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here in the left side of your screen, you're going to find all of the sections. There is the activity section, community, where you're going to find all of your communities and channels. Here you're going to find the chat section. And lastly, right here, you're going to find your calendar. So basically, guys, right here in your calendar, you're going to find all of your scheduled meetings. And here you can also switch between uh, day, work week, or week. Here you're going to find the option to join a meeting using the meeting ID and the passcode. You can also click on meet now to start a meeting immediately. And here you're going to find a new meeting if you want to schedule a new meeting. Right here in the top right corner of your screen, you're going to find your profile icon. Right here, as you can see, guys, you can change your status and set your status message. And right here, you're going to find settings and more. If you click on it, here you're going to find settings, help, zoom, keyboard shortcuts, upgrade, Teams Insider program, and lastly, download the mobile app. So go ahead and click on settings. There I'm going to be right here near settings. So basically guys, once you're here in the left, you're going to find all the sections. There is a general section, mobile device, privacy, notifications and activity, appearance and accessibility, calendar, people, plans and upgrades, and lastly, Teams Insider program. So go ahead and click on calendar. And then right here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find your current calendar and also the other calendars. So basically, guys, the easiest way to block your calendar is by changing it. You can, for example, if you're using an Outlook calendar, you can remove it. But in order to be able to remove it, you need to select the uh, Google calendar. So just go ahead and click on connect, then click on use Google calendar. And then this will take you right here, log into your Google account. And then you're going to be able to connect your calendar. And after that, your old calendar will be automatically removed. So this is it, guys, for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.